virtually unknown Erin Tohill, hoping to turn the world of women's boxing upside down, fighting two days before her 28th birthday. A five-year pro with only eight bouts. She has alternated traditional boxing and mixed martial arts or kickboxing, where she's more well-known. Coming in to, to the view of the crowd with a, a nice smile, 6-1-1, one one, zero knockouts, which she says is deceiving and insists it will not be a beatdown, as Layla Ali calls it. And Al, she does not mask her <laughs> feelings whatsoever about Layla Ali, telling us she's in it for herself. Layla doesn't give anybody respect. She's arrogant, doesn't like the way Ali represents the sport. And those were the nice things she said about Layla right. Ali. Uh, you know, Erin Sohill is ranked number one in mixed martial arts. She feels she has the toughness necessary to beat, Muhammad, uh, to beat Layla Ali, and she has what she believes is a plan that no one's employed, to press Ali, take her out of her rhythm, and really rough her up. We'll see if she can do that. Looking very... Uh, Cool, calm, and relaxed, collected, as she makes her way slowly to the ring. But make no mistake, she is no nonsense. This is not about money, since she's not making a lot of it, she told us. She just really wants to hurt Layla Ali. And it's about opportunities for her as well. A win over Ali, clearly the most recognizable name in women's boxing, or one of the two or three, uh, will get her far. The long, slow walk to the ring by Erin Towhill. And uh, her opponent, Layla Ali, told us that she is motivated by Towhill's tough talk. And the crowd psyched up as Layla Ali returns to the Washington, D.C. area a second time to fight. Two weeks before she fought on the Tyson Williams card in Louisville, her father's hometown, she knocked out Nikki Epleon in three in Bowie, Maryland. Ali drew 9,000 in the rain at Prince George's Stadium. She has stepped up her game with her last nine wins by knockout, including a one-sided victory over a smaller but game former queen of women's boxing, Christy Martin. Here's a lady who exudes confidence bordering on but she backs it up with, with good skill. She really does, and you know, you can hear, of course, her proud father, uh, he has seen her before in these kinds of settings. A couple of points. Layla Ali is braggadocious. She can border on arrogant, but the one thing you have to say about Layla Ali is she has continually gotten better. She has worked at her craft. And the other thing you have to say is that she understands this setting, this bigger setting, a lot better than most of her opponents like Aaron Towhill. So she is a little more at home in this kind of situation. And Layla, in contrast to her father, Muhammad Ali, more of an aggressive pressure type fighter who really likes to bang power shots and go for the explosive KO. That was uh, mom and pop there. from the big crowd here at the MCI Center, which is just sparkling. The legendary Muhammad Ali on hand. Fans roaring and cheering every time they see him on the big screen here. It's electric. Layla says hard to find quality opposition in a shallow pool of women fighters, particularly her size, the the woman she keeps calling out these days is a fighter by the name of Ann Wolf. Let's check the numbers right now as we go to the tail of the tape. And it is very even on paper. Both Ali and Tohill are 27. Same exact height. The reach nearly identical. At yesterday's weigh-in, Ali just under at 167. And Tohill right on at 168. Super middleweight limit. Notable rules for this women's title bout. Remember, they're two-minute rounds. There's no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. If an accidental headbutt occurs before the end of the fourth round, the fight's ruled a no decision. If it happens after the end of round four, they go to the scorecards.
So here at the MCI Center in Washington, D.C., we're getting ready for Layla Ali versus Erin Tohill for the Women's Super Middleweight Championship scheduled for 10 rounds. Let's get the formal introductions from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from the MCI Center here in Washington, D.C. at this time, we present a women's boxing special attraction. It is brought to you courtesy of Raging Promotions, The Stucky Group, PMG Boxing, and Showtime. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the WIBA Supervisor Ryan Wisso, the WBC Supervisor Joe Dwyer, and the District of Columbia Boxing and Wrestling Commission, the Chairman, Dr. Arnold McKnight. Introducing at this time are three judges scoring the bout from ringside, all from Washington, D.C. Paul Artiste, Tammy Jenkins, and David Jordan. Presenting at this time our third man to the ring, the referee in charge. He'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Joseph Cooper. All right, fans, here we go. Ten two-minute rounds of boxing scheduled for the WIBA Super Middleweight and inaugural WBC Women's Super Middleweight Championship. Introducing to you first the challenger on my right. She is fighting out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing green trunks with white trim, joining us from Huntington Beach, California. She weighed in at the super middleweight limit of 168 pounds with a record of six wins, one loss, and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, Irish, Aaron Tohill. And her opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, the defending champion on my left, wearing blue trunks with white trim, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. She weighed in at a ready 167 pounds, undefeated in her campaign to the ring with 20 wins, no losses, 17 wins coming by way of knockout. She is the WIBA Super Middleweight Champion and the IWBF light heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated Layla Shibi Stingin Ali. Once again, a referee in charge, Joseph Cooper, now to give instructions. Take it off. Take it off. Y'all get pre fight instructions early in the dressing room. I expect you to conduct yourself as professionals that you are. Let's shake hands! Let's throw some thunder! My goodness, Joseph Cooper's scaring me. <laughs> he's, he's fired up, isn't he? <laughs> Layla Ali, who said she likes fighting tall opponents. They were eye to eye. She's not used to that. She told us her right hand is more effective in these circumstances. Al, as you. You heard her say, and the upset-minded Erin Tohill, a daunting task facing a, a woman in a league of her own. And uh, the familiar face you saw in the corner, former world champion Roger Mayweather, who trains Layla Ali. Tohill's plan is simple. Get inside, disrupt Ali, make her fight in a way she's not used to fighting. Now, Ali likes to be at a distance, have a pace that she likes, and don't be taken off your rhythm. Toho in the uh, green. Watch them hit. The right game plan. Crowder. I told the up. pressure on. Go to the body. Jackie oh. Frazier used that uh, well yes. against uh, Layla, although uh, Jackie didn't win the fight. The order, of course, is smoking Joe Frazier. And you know, early on already here, there were moments in that first sequence where Tohill was able to land a pretty good left hook and get inside the jab in the straight right of Ali without getting hit. Layla Ali, a natural talent. Pretty fair bloodlines, but she's worked hard at improving her skills. Tohill, a striking, physically uh, looking impressive boxer, but can she match the speed and strength of Layla Ali? 
He said she watched almost every single Layla Ali fight on tape and concluded that Ali is consistent. It's jab, jab, cross. Jab, jab, cross. And that is what Ali does, uh, much like her father. You know, her dad, who was a, obviously one of the great fighters of all time, if not the greatest, as he would say, never did develop a left hook. Two, maybe three body shots, I think, his whole career. Interesting, yeah. But he's able to get it done with that jab and straight right hand. And there's Layla landing it right there. Layla starting to let it go a little bit here now, seeing the openings. Tohill uh, felt Layla can't fight on the inside, can't fight going backwards, and, and that she doesn't have a plan B if needed. She says she'll exploit Layla's weaknesses. Well, we shall see. Unlike the early part of the round, though, Tohill has stayed on the outside and given Layla Ali a chance to do just that, land those big right hands and jab. Big finish to the first round by Layla Ali and a countering right over the top by Tohill. Stop! Don't let her control it. Get in there, don't you can't hang around on the outside. You gotta get into the inside. Slow down. She don't got shit on you. From the outside at this distance, the jab and then the straight right hand by Layla Ali. And if you give her a chance, she'll keep throwing that combination over and over again. And if she has her distance, she can do it. Layla, Layla Ali fights tall, and that's a big plus for her. And you see from the outside, there's no way Aaron Tohill can match her. Tohill doesn't have that kind of jab and right hand. She's going to work on the inside where she'll throw the hooks to the body, etc. But here on the outside, Ali able to get the job done. The hand speed of Layla Ali towards the end of that first round really making a difference. There was head movement from Aaron Tohill early in the round, but not there. There's some body work by Tohill. That's what she needs to do if she's going to make this fight uh, an interesting one. Nothing fancy about Tohill. Straight in. The right hand by Tohill. Not a lot of head movement or side to side, very deliberate. Now, wait until we a nice combination by Tohill. She's now starting. When she gets on the inside, she can impose her will. Blood from the nose of Tohill right now. As they trade on the inside there. Tohill's a competitor, a gamer, good athlete, but relatively inexperienced in boxing, not in martial arts, mixed martial arts. Toho keeping her hands up higher and landing some counter right hands, but uh, it can take more than that if the fight is fought at this distance. Blood coming from the right nostril of Toho. Kickboxers who switch to traditional boxing generally do not have correct footwork or punching leverage. But Toho doing a pretty good job, but here comes Leila Ali on the attack. Now, a lot of those were blocked, but the right, couple of those right hands got in. And you see Toe was waiting for a chance to counter with her own right, and she did fairly well there. But, of course, you lose a round when you take that many shots. Well, you just can't let Layla Ali walk in and do what she wants. Just too strong, too smart. She knows how to control a fight. And she uh, gets inspiration from the crowd. And remember, they are more likely to stop women's bouts because of situations even like that nose with Tohill. Listen, that body is wide open. You got to throw it to the body. Open. What the hell are you doing? No, 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 no. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you waiting Please. for? You cannot wait on this girl. Come on. You cannot wait on this girl. You, you give her a lot of confidence for her. On the outside, Layla Ali, there's a good counter right hand by Tohill, but for the most part on the outside, it's Ali using the jab as a range finder. There's a couple of good straight right hands, and right on the nose, landing now. She got her hands up to block a lot of those shots, but clearly not all of them, and you heard her corner telling Tohill, you've got to get on the inside, and the body's wide open, and it is true, Tohill needs to be throwing downstairs and getting on the inside. She's not doing it. 
So a bloodied Aaron Toehill comes back out for round three. Two-minute round scheduled for ten. Another good countering right hand that lands upstairs by Layla Ali. Now Toehill did the right thing coming out in this round. Jabbed her way in and there. That's what you need to do. Stay on the inside. Get inside those big Fail! Fail! Let go! And, and rip a hook, which she did. One of the areas where Ali has really improved uh, of late is in finishing opponents off. So we'll see if she gets Toehill in trouble, if she can do it again. Good body shot a moment ago by Toehill. That's what you want to try and do. Ali has good movement. You know, Leila Ali has that good lateral movement, and she uses it and then plants herself. She doesn't punch off her toes. Good body work by Toehill on the inside there. She's got to hang around in this fight long enough for that to have an impact. But right now, she's throwing some excellent body shots. That could be a, be a key piece of strategy for Toehill. And the here. left hook of Toehill is starting to be there. Break off. Countering left hook to the head by Aaron Toehill. Starting to find a, a home more regularly with those punches here in round three. And there's a subtle shift in this fight. I'm not suggesting she won this round, but Aaron Tohill's done a very good job in this round and has landed some good body shots and has slipped more of the shots from Layla Ali. And she's focusing her attack on the body now. Coming from mixed martial arts, you know she's a tough, rugged uh, lady. And a little thing like a bloody nose isn't going to stop her as she just keeps marching forward now. Great right by away. Ali. There's another great right by Ali. Ali scoring. A flurry by Ali. And it's going to be stopped. That's it. Tohu is not offering anything back. And it ends in the third for Layla Ali. Give Leila Ali all the credit in the world. She faced adversity in that round. Got hit with some very good body shots, some good left hooks to the head. Tohill thought she was changing this fight. Leila Ali got her in trouble, and Leila Ali in women's boxing is the best finisher in the sport. Now we just talked about her almost on cue. She got her opponent in trouble and ended matters briskly. She just jumped right on Aaron Tohill and finished the job. And Muhammad Ali, once again, a proud papa. Heading over towards the ring to uh, no doubt congratulate his daughter. Here he comes. And he'll hear it from the crowd as he gets into the ring. The greatest. Over to congratulate. The lady called CB Stinger. Of course, a play on words. Uh, Ali's famous expression floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. And uh, being saluted by the crowd right now is Layla Ali, who remains undefeated. Now 21 and 0, 18 knockouts, and retains her super middleweight uh, title. Here's the uh, race with Dan. One thing about Layla, she's inherited the gift of gab from her famous father. Right now, nobody in women's boxing. Layla. There you go, I'll cover a life magazine right there. You're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Very touching moment there is uh, Layla and uh, her legendary dad, Muhammad Ali, embraced and kissed. And Rahman Ali, Ali's brother there also. Her uncle, of course. Layla, as you might expect, with that blood coming uh, from uh, Muhammad Ali, very frank, saying women who want to box professionally should prepare for a tough, tough experience. Hard way now, to make a living. Now, Hill made this a very tough round for, for Layla Ali. You see her go to the body, the uppercut. She, this was the kind of fight she wanted. And look, she lands a very good left hook. At that distance, Aaron Hill could make some things happen. And I think at that moment, 
was turning the tide of this fight, but at a distance from outside, the right hand started, and nobody finishes better in the women's game than Layla Ali. And she does it by being very precise, jab, straight right hand. There's no sense in throwing hooks. You just keep jabbing straight right. You keep doing it until you can't do it anymore, and Aaron Tohill just couldn't defend until finally the referee rightfully had to come in and stop the fight as she turned away from Ali, and that is the telltale sign that a fight should be ended. Stopped in the third, and Leila Ali still the face of women's boxing. Tohill trying to keep her hands up, and for the most part was able to do it there for a while, but then Ali is relentless, and she's a very accurate puncher. Some good defense shown by Aaron Tohill there, but Ali is... As we said, she's very accurate. She throws combinations. She doesn't stop punching. Her conditioning is superb. And when you throw that all in the hopper, it's why she can finish fighters like this. Until someone comes along in the women's game, if they do, who can fight for a sustained time like Jackie Frazier did during parts against Layla Ali, she'll continue to do this to her opponents. A smothering attack by Layla Ali. And Aaron Tohill, of course, very, very distressed and hurt, just dazed at this juncture. And that's a boxer that just can't get it done anymore. Well, she said she wanted to put a hurt on Layla Ali, but it was certainly the other way around. There's another kiss from Papa. He's supposed to be up here. Let's get the official announcement right now from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 59 seconds in round number three. Our referee in charge, Joseph Cooper, stops the contest. She is the winner by way of technical knockout. She is now the WIBA and WBC Women's Super Middleweight Champion and still undefeated, Layla Shebe Stingen Ali. Thank you.